Today, we are going to be building the squirrel picnic table. Hi everyone, my name is John, and thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are going to be building the squirrel picnic table. Feel free to follow along and pause, rewind, or even skip parts as needed. All the different steps are split into chapters found in the video timeline. Okay, before we get started, I would like to take a moment to talk to you about the importance of safety. When we work with or around tools, we need to be very careful to show respect for the potential hazards and take our work very seriously. Safety glasses must be worn. You only get two eyes, and these will make sure that you get to keep them. Building stuff is fun, but if you get hurt, the fun is over. Please have fun, but take safety seriously. Okay, let's talk about the tools you'll need to complete this project. Again, remember, we need safety glasses. You'll also need a hammer. That's going to help you hit those nails. The next thing you're going to need is some glue. You'll also need something to spread that glue with. And I'm going to choose a popsicle stick. You can use a brush or even your finger. I like something to be able to put my glue on before putting it onto the wood. It just makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to use a paper towel. And finally, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. I've got mine right here. And those are all the tools you're gonna need to build this kit today. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to grab one of our lower support bars. That's right here. When placing the lower support bar down on the table, it is helpful to have the dados, these cut out, facing inward at the top of the bar. Now we are going to grab our legs. We're gonna need a right leg and a left leg. When you look at this right leg and left leg, you'll notice that in the middle of these legs, there is a cutout. This cutout is also called a dado. When we take the dado of the leg and we place it into the dado of the lower support bar, it actually creates a specialty wood joint called a lap joint. What we can do is take the other leg and also place it inside that lower support bar and now we have two lap joints. All right, now we know where everything goes. Why don't we get some glue on there and nail it together? Get a little glue. Now remember, when you're placing glue in the joint, you want to make sure that you get your glue everywhere where those two cutouts are going to touch each other. It's important the glue makes full contact with each piece of the wood. This will create the strongest connection. The nails are only there to hold that, the, that your project together until the glue fully dries. Okay, I've got glue on my, my legs. I've got those in the right spots. I'm gonna take my lower support bar, I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna place it inside the dados of those legs. Let's grab some smaller nails. We'll only need two right now. And go ahead and put them in the pre-drilled holes helps to save your fingers, and it also helps you to know exactly where you need to put the nails. Okay, good. Now that we have our lower support bar in one of the right and left legs, let's repeat on the other side. All right, I'm gonna grab another lower support bar right there, and then I'm gonna grab the other left and right leg. I'm gonna make sure that my lower support bar has the dados facing inward at the top of the bar and then I'll get some glue in them. Let's just repeat that, uh, that step there. Again, make sure you're getting lots of glue. Now, it is important to get a lots of glue and to make sure it touches all the different parts that are, that are gonna make contact, but it is also important not to have your glue dripping everywhere. That, it's a, it's a fine balance between enough glue, but not too much. This picnic table can be a little bit of a puzzle. So sometimes you have to flip around your legs a few times just to find out 
exactly where they go. All right, I'm gonna grab two more nails. Good, okay. We've got the lower support bar on each side. Now let's attach the upper support bar. I'm gonna grab that. You can see that these are them right there. You can see that there are also dados cut into these upper support bars. I'm gonna take my upper support bar and I'm just gonna place it in place to make sure I don't need to make any adjustments. I'm going to dry fit it in place. Dry fit just means to check to make sure that you don't need to make any changes before adding your glue or nails. That's okay, I think it looks good. So let's just get some glue on that and then we can nail that on. Okay, that looks good. Let's put her on. And we need two small nails for this part here, one, two. Excellent. All right, we have one of the legs finished. Let's finish the other. Move that over and uh, let's get some glue in there. All right. I'm gonna take this last upper support bar and I'm gonna place it in the spot. Let's get some small nails. Now that we've finished our two sides, we can join them. We're gonna use our center support bar and it's gonna go right inside of these dados, one on each side of the legs. What we'll do is we'll just nail them in there and it will join both legs to be able to create a nice platform for the tabletop to sit on. So let's go ahead and get that assembled. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of glue inside this dado here. Now, when I nail this center support bar into place, it can be a little bit tricky. If you find it difficult to balance this while you nail it, it would be a good idea to either get a clamp like this to hold it down, or you can get a friend to hold it while you nail. Keeping it secure is very important to be able to nail safely and do a good job. There's one. That'll make it a little easier for it to stand up while I nail. I am going to get a little bit more glue inside the other dado on the other set of legs. Okay, I'll flip that on top. Let's get that in the pre-drilled hole there and we'll get this one in too. Beautiful, okay. It's starting to look like a picnic table now. All right, the next step is to attach our benches using small nails and glue. So these right here are our benches, one, two. They are going to be placed right on top of these lower support bars. You may need to move things around a little bit to make sure that everything is in its place. We'll also need to make sure that the benches are aligned with the outside, or sorry, the end of the center, lower support bar. That will make sure everything is in its place and everything will fit together very well. So let's get some glue on this bench and then we can uh, nail it in place. All right, let's get this thing placed in the right position. When we nail this, it's a good idea to place some weight on the picnic table, just because it can bounce around a little when you're nailing it. Again, ha having a friend to hold it is very helpful. All right, there's one.
One of the benches is on, let's put the other one on. Get a little more glue inside the dado here. And let's get the last dado. Some glue in there. All right. Little weight on there. And last nail for the bench. We've got our benches on and now we can put on our tabletop. Let's do that. When we install the tabletop, you turn it over, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on under there. It doesn't really matter which side you place this tabletop, whether you put it on like this or put it on like this. It doesn't make a difference, so don't worry about getting that right. You're gonna do just fine. As long as you don't flip it over and put it down like that. Might not be exactly what we're looking for. So let's put it on like this and then uh, make sure everything's aligned and in the right spot. And let's throw some glue in there, nail it up. Okay. I like to make sure that I put more than enough glue because we got a lot of a lot of area in here to cover. Obviously, like I said earlier, we don't want it dripping all over the place, but make sure you, you're contacting everything, you're getting glue on all the different parts that are gonna touch. Okay, we've got our glue on, so let's go ahead and put that in place. You might need to stretch the picnic table legs a little bit just to get it in. Should work no problem. Okay, I've got my picnic table top seated properly. Let's get the nails in. All right, excellent. We've got all six nails in. Look at that, it looks like a picnic table. I like it. Okay, only a few more steps to go. What we've got right here, this is our bracket. What this bracket allows us to do when placed inside these slots underneath the picnic table, it hooks in and then it allows us to put this on a fence. So you can put your screws that come with the kit in through here and right onto a fence. And that way, you can put it on display, you could put some seeds in the top for the birds, or as designed, you could put some peanuts on top there and get the squirrels to come around and take some pictures. Okay, let's get this installed then. When you're putting glue on the bracket, let's just check to make sure that we can identify where exactly we're gonna need the glue. And, and what's one way to do that? If you said dry fit, that is correct. So let's take our bracket, we'll dry fit it into the place that it needs to go. And then by dry fitting it, I can see, okay, I can, see, I can tell exactly where I need to put the glue. I've got to put glue around these tabs, and I've also got to put some glue where it makes contact with one of the lower support parts. Well, let's get our glue on there, and then we can nail it in place. And don't forget, on the back side, we're gonna put a little bit of glue where it makes contact with the lower support bar. Slide that in place. Beautiful. All right, for this part, we are going to need three long nails. One of the long nails is going to go into that lower support bar. There we go. And the other two are gonna go in the side of the table. So let's go ahead and get those in there. One. And two. Excellent. All right, the next part is we are going to attach 
our bowl using one small screw. I'm gonna grab my screw. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna place my screw on the end of my screwdriver, line up my hole, and there we go. We can just go ahead and tighten that down. We don't wanna tighten it too much though. If you tighten it too much, we risk cracking the bowl. We wanna be very careful that we don't crack our bowl. And there we go. We've got a finished picnic table. After the glue starts to dry in about an hour, we can come back and give it a good sand. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I've taken the bowl off. That will allow us to do a better job at sanding. Before we start sanding, I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about wood grain. If you take a look at the top of this picnic table, you'll see that there are all kinds of lines running through it. These lines are actually called wood grain. When we take our sandpaper and we go to sand, if you start sanding in the same direction of that grain, it will actually make your picnic table look very nice. Now, if I take my sandpaper and I sand this picnic table in the opposite direction of the grain, like this, what will happen is it will make it look like the picnic table is scratched. When we sand, we make little scratch marks with our sandpaper. The grain helps to hide those scratch marks. When we sand in the opposite direction of the grain, it's very obvious that the scratch marks are there because the grain can't hide it very well. So when we sand, we wanna sand in the same direction of the grain to make sure we have a very nice finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this as nice as I can and you make yours as nice as you can too. picnic table looks great. From everybody at Build It Yourself Woodworking, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me to build your kit. If you enjoyed building this kit or know somebody else that would enjoy building a woodworking kit too, visit us at www.buildityourself.ca to see all of our great woodworking kits.